So today I'm making a new terrain piece for my Dungeons and Dragons encounters. Uh, I thought I'd experiment with a few new techniques, including using buckwheat for the wall texture, and the whole thing is modular so that I can easily integrate it with my other terrain pieces. I'm trying to keep these videos a little bit shorter, so let's get to it. Now, I am just making this up as I go along. Just going to try to uh, break this off without uh, getting a blade in my eye. So, let's see how we go. Yeah. Ah, all right. Sharp knife. We should be good to go. While we're waiting for the glue gun to heat up, uh, would you like to admire my new wall? Check this out. Is that pretty cool? I got a fancy wall and lights. I need more lights. Three's not enough. All right, how are we going? Not good enough. Heat faster. It's like building a birdhouse. Is this thing hot? Oh yeah, that'll do. Done. That's going to sit underneath. And the idea, yeah. And then you are going to sit like that. All right, so the glue's dried and I've got all the walls bricked up. I think that looks pretty snazzy. Next step is just to seal it, Mod Podge, and some acrylic black paint. So I'm just gonna let that dry and we'll get started with the, uh, with the painting. Um, just gonna put it close to the fan uh, and see how long it takes. I'll be right back. I've got the brick foundation back there uh, drying, and while that's drying, I want to work on the roof. Uh, so the last house had this really um, kind of complex, uh, alternating, triangular sort of, almost like. I'm not sure what kind of style you would call it, but um, it's okay. But I want to try something different. More of a traditional, just rectangular, straight shingle. This time uh, should be easier-ish, maybe. They don't look like shingles. We will fix that by cutting shingles into them. And I'm going to use these side cutters, or in side cutters, like sprue cutters. Uh, these are old, they've been chewed on by a Great Dane many, many years ago. Now, to do this, you could glue them on. I've done before, that's how I did the other house. I'm gonna try something different this time. I'm gonna try some double-sided tape. Trim that off there. And this side. Beautiful.
um, using this uh, raw umber craft acrylic paint. And then with that, um, I'm just going to go through and just give this a generous coating. Again, it's really subtle, but uh, makes a big difference, I think, just to cover up that harsh black acrylic paint as the base color. Now, the next step is the magic. It's going to be using uh, just some gap filler or spackle. Scoop some out. Uh, it's water. You don't need a lot of water, just enough to break down the compound a bit. Just make it so that it's paintable. This is going to be the mortar that fills all the cracks. For this, I'm just going to generously um, apply it over all of the bricks, but very conscious to make sure it soaks into all of the the joints, all the seams, the gaps between the bricks. I'd say that looks mostly done. So the gap filler mortar has dried, soaked into the cracks, and the results look fantastic. This is just foam bricks glued to foam core. I could leave it like this, uh, but I'm going to do two more steps. I'm going to do a dry brush with this uh, neutral gray color and then just um, add some details with a, with a yellow ink. Again, don't need a lot. Just a little bit to tell a story. And that's done. So, put you in there. The next step here is actually to seal the roof with Mod Podge and black uh, acrylic paint. So I've got some paint on here now. I've got two coats on the roof and started uh, doing the trim just roughly first coat. It's a little bit different to the color uh, used on the original cottage, but uh, I like it better. It's a little bit more earthy, a little bit warmer. All right, so I've got a black wash down on the roof, all of the wood trim. So to add texture to the walls, I thought about using a textured paint. I've considered a few different options. What I've decided to do is uh, sprinkle just some flour over the top. I looked at uh, different types of uh, tile grouts, baby powder, baking soda. So I've actually decided to go with buckwheat flour. Um, it kind of has this uh, beigey, off-white uh, color to it. It's got a little bit of like grit in it so it's a it's not just a uniform color it's not bleach bright white like a like a normal flower is to apply this I'm just gonna put a coat of uh, Mod Podge down on the walls uh, and just sprinkle it over the top and let it set and then I'm going to spray it with a sealant uh, just so that uh, it doesn't go off and bugs don't start eating <laughs> my uh, my train pieces Then I made a set of stairs out of foam core and stir sticks.
So with the sealant spray now set and dry, the buckwheat is completely hard. Um, you can see that there's these desiccation cracks that have formed, which kind of looks cool. Like that, I wasn't expecting that. It's uh, one of these uh, unintentional side effects. And also when I was banging off the excess, I got a little bit too rough and some big chunks fell off. Uh, and then I just sprayed it with the sealant again. But these uh, little bits of fallen off plaster is just a um, weathering effect that honestly I think adds a lot to it. It looks great. I'd struggle to do that uh, intentionally. So it looks pretty cool. I'm just going to um, do a light dry brush over brush uh, with the, the roof color. The, the wood is a little bit too... Um, a little bit too bright. I want to dull it down a little bit. So I'm going to use a bit of this um, pale brown light over brush just to dull it down and give it more of a, of a muted matte kind of color. Painting's done, it's turned out great, loving it. So the last thing, final finishing touch. I've got um, these cheap tea light battery, electric tea lights, they change colors. Um, there's a remote, you can uh, set the color, but right now by default they're on random mode. So I just want to, with the window in the front, I just want to cut a hole in the bottom here, big enough so I can fit a tea light in. No one needs to know, it could be our secret. And if everything goes according to plan, oh, hang on, just big enough. <laughs> thought it... Wow, all right, that looks better than I thought it would. All right, hang on. <laughs> Can you see that? Let me just get the foundation. We'll put it all together now. So you go on there like that. That's going to go on the back. The nice thing about keeping it module like this, because I can basically have that on the ground by itself. I can use this staircase for something else. I can use this foundation for, say, like that you know there's all kinds of options like there's already a door on it but you know, again just to the side anyways what I wanted to see is what this looks like with the lights out so let me just turn some lights off that looks pretty cool and there you have it looks pretty good I'm I'm happy it's a different roof design Tried some new techniques, used buckwheat. I've never used buckwheat before. I don't think anyone's used buckwheat before. <laughs> Would I do it again? Probably not. It's, um, it's probably other easier uh, materials to use, but I thought, eh, never know until you give it a go, right? So, um, super happy with it. Really happy with the window and those lights inside. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video and uh, Keep smiling. Bye for now.